Jesus Christ, time for a show. Let's see, do this, yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's start is, uh, Sinor? Yeah, the uh, Spanish is going to flow fluently to uh, Steve just <laughs> constantly because he's... Uh, has, Not today, that was... He's, that was he's Spanish. Okay. <laughs> or I guess Mexican. Do they call it Mexican? Mexican. Mexican, okay. Mexican. Mexican. Anyways, uh, good night. Good evening. And, uh, good night. Uh, bonus. Any, uh, um, mail? Any mail? Any take care of or we can do that later? Ah, no mail. I don't know. There's no questions? Whew, yes. <laughs> no, no, no questions. We so this is the late back Friday edition. We just gotta shoot the shit. Okay. Shoot the shit, you know. Oh, so it's late back Friday. Wait, ooh, let's shoot the shit, all right. Well, um, anything well, we did have on your the mind? Potential renter coming here. We had a motorcycle. But I didn't see his truck or his motorcycle or anything. Maybe it's a Harley. Maybe well, it was... he's from Alberta, so it's a Harley on a trailer with a do probably a dually wheel, you know. Yeah, something like that. He's an Alberta boy. Well, by size of belt buckle, I'd say so. He did have a belt buckle. This size of a playing field, yeah. Yeah, and gold. And gold. So. But he did, did seem like a nice guy. He had a, a hell of a tan. He was a, definitely an Alberta boy. Oh, he's a carpenter, so he's working outside. Yeah, so he's working outside all the time. Yeah. Potential renter for downstairs. The Swedish swim team would be much more appreciated if they were to rent this place. But that would be nice if we had, like, you know, a bunch of, you know, 20 year old girls renting down there. Like that. that would be much nicer. So if uh, you need a place yeah, to rent and you. Being male philanthropists. For the female cause, yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah, so How about woofers? Female woofers? Yeah, we can get the woofers in here. We have the gardening. They, gardening can, they can mow the freaking lawn. I won't mow the lawn anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I can clean the windows. I can clean up the bird crap. Yeah. Can, it's yeah. all like Sue. <laughs> uh, no, Sue, yeah, at least I would uh, be nice to them. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's two different. Sorry, but I didn't mean to you know, put you in that same classification. I'm just saying it could be a Sue situation where. No, no Sue. Personal slaves, you know. Yeah. Well, Room and board, personal slavery. Well, we've been here longer, so we uh, we automatically have the upper hand. We have tenure. Yes. That's Mount Baker. So, hell of a fast week. Working hard. I'm tired. Hardly I'm working. So quick, I'm tired. Yeah, this tired. guy blew his tire out on his bike. I'm so tired, I blew a tire, yeah. yeah he rode I've 16, got two flats today, actually. 16 kilometers each, each way, way to work on his Uphill bike. each way. Uphill, both <laughs> ways, in the snow. <laughs> so he's a, he's a trooper. Then we teached. Okay, so we have a crazy story from uh, Captain Steve here. Something about uh, interior people. And here we go. You. Well, we were just talking about Prince George tonight. I mean, place, of course, place, yeah. I've lived there. He's lived there. He was born. No, you weren't born there, were you? Yes, I was. Prince oh, George my. Yeah. That explains everything. That's, that's <laughs> why I'm there. That's why I'm Well, I met two young ladies from there. They were tree planters. And they went, I moved back to Victoria. And they caught a, got a hold of me somehow. They wanted to come on a visit. It was kind of a strange visit there. Need to party down for guys, and I'm like, well, I'm I'm single. And they're like, well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Didn't like Anyways, you. just moved on. They wanted. I to took them on to the I took them to the highlights and, the, and some of the lowlights, and we're at the surf, which is down. It's been called many names actually, and I don't think it was called the surf then. Anyways, we're in the surf, and they're off dancing away, and I'm sitting here with two drinks in my hand, looking across the bar. Checking things out and then trying to keep low life, and then this guy looks at me. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And I look up, and he's still looking at me. Okay, and I start walking around, have my finish my one drink, and I got this other drink that's not mine, but I'm walking around with it, and he's still staring at me. <laughs> like he is, like this is across the bar, yeah, fully loaded bar. Yeah, that should People be going crazy. Yeah. It's just like right full fruit. And I'm like, there's something weird. Either I know him, I look him again, and no, I don't know him. <laughs> you know, I don't recognize him at all. He comes walking towards me, and I just get this really bad feeling, you know. He's got a beer in each hand. And he's, oh, he's got it. Coming towards me is pretty purposeful. <laughs> you know, there's a bad feeling about this. 
and he's starts his eyes narrow down and he's focused on me and he's got right at me across his bar, right through the dance floor and everything. It was pretty wild. So I, I don't know what happened, but instinct and uh, survival took over and uh, he goes to put the two drinks down and I don't know what was going to happen next. So I basically cold cocked him. Why? No, you punched him in the nuts? <laughs> no, right in the, <laughs> right in the face. Oh, I thought you were Caught him right on the nose, right on the beak. Oh, okay. he's so what? Because he was going to... Yeah, he was after you. Oh, he had evil intent. Oh, maybe he was like after you. I was getting so bad vibes. I chicks. was so heebie-jeebie. He was after your chicks. He's after the women. I don't know. I, they were all over me too. So, right, so he goes down and I go, uh, go grab the girls off the dance floor, of course. <sighs> Bless their souls. They're all dressed up in nice dresses and really high heels. Yeah, I'm looking sexy. And the surf is beside the waterfront. Uh, to get up to the Wharf Street, there's quite a lot of stairs and stuff like that. So it's quite the aerobics grabbing these two and getting them up the stairs. And apparently this guy, I can hear this guy bat, getting thrown out of the bar because I guess he apparently got up and uh, started throwing punches, right? He was just being a fucking dick. This is... well, he was a dick. Yes. Yeah. But that's... Yeah. Anyways, this is... He proved himself to be a dick later on. Uh, he came running up to after the stairs after us, right? Yeah. I get up to Worf Street and I flag a taxi. But he's going the opposite way on the other side, so that's fine. And this guy comes running up the stairs and like, you fuck! Just like, you know, unintelligible. We get into the cab, the guy comes around, pulls a Yui, the cab, gets in, we get in, the, I get the girls in the cab, I get in the front seat. This guy is now on the windshield, Holy bashing, shit. like this, trying to bash the freaking windshield in. Terminator, man. Terminator 2. <laughs> well, the cabbie guy just looks at me and goes, friend of yours? So I got no friend of mine. And he just went forward and then stopped. And the guy <laughs> just flew off. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That's that... not the end of it. He's Now, this guy is super pissed off. This is right in front of Bastion Square on Wall Street. Oh, my God. People are watching. Anyways, the cabbie pulls a Yui, a perfect good Yui. And this guy's running down the street after us. <laughs> Clutching one of the windshield wipers off the cab. <laughs> running after us. And the guy just says, you sure that's not a friend of yours? <laughs> the girls are just like, just like, I was, oh, welcome to Victoria, ladies. Yeah. This is just uh, yeah, this is another doing... typical night in the life of uh, me. Yeah, this, this kind of shit happens. A little bit here, uh -huh. it's Father's Day. Of course, mine is deceased. No, almost twenty years. So your, I've done with that. Dad's been dead for twenty fucking years. Oh yeah. But you're only you're not that old. Huh? Well, how do you die? Well, if you don't mind me asking, I don't want it to get too. Uh, well, the funny thing is, is <laughs> yeah. I have just uh, passed his age. He died. So how did he die? Uh, let's see. Uh, not eating right, not drinking too much. Yeah, he had brain cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancer. Lovely. Yeah. yeah so uh, let's solve cancer, folks. Let's. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that one. Yeah, be anyway, so I don't have a father, but I have been recently um, adopted. Yes. So he does. By have, my spouse's daughter. He does have a lovely daughter. Well, I guess a daughter and a son and another daughter and a grandchild. Well, the son, we haven't worked that one out yet. No. He's, so he's not adopted by you yet. No. Okay. No, he won't adopt me. That's. Oh. Okay. Sarah that's... adopted me. It's the other way around. Well, she calls you dad. Yeah, that's she right. Me, yeah? yeah. She calls you daddy. Okay. Enough about me. What about me? <laughs> You got a daddy? I have a daddy. I have a daddy named uh, James Palham. Palham? Just one daddy? Well, I had a stepdad too for uh, Dave Ferguson. Uh, stepdad. You call my stepdad between the age of like 10 and like uh, 18. No, oh, yeah, about that. He acquired his name. Somehow, yeah, he had to adopt me legally when my parents got married. So. I was adopted by him, right? so I took his name, so, but yeah, overall, you know, but I'm not going to send him any fucking card, that's for sure, <laughs> but he 
he was a dad. He was a good, uh, you know, he taught me how to do things. And, uh, he was, for the most part, he was pretty decent. He was the kind of guy that would, like, you know, make you do things around the house. And if you fucked up once, you'd have to do it twice over. Just a, like a drill sergeant. So, that's... that Almost sounds like a Nazi. Yeah, like a Nazi. <laughs> uh, so, he was a Nazi. He lived with me for... Okay, well, sorry to hear that. Oh, my real dad. My real dad is a freaking hippie. He's awesome. I met him once. Great guy. Like, you know, he got hair down to here, still. <laughs> Something I wish I still had, which uh, kind of failed on me. Yeah. Blame it on your mom? Uh, no, I blame it on my uh, grandparents. I think I really oh. have my grandparents' heritage. But, uh, it's, can't blame it on him because he's in his week of 50s now. He's still got long hair. He's still a rocker and uh, yeah, he's a good guy. Say just a happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I guess uh, Steve's a father. I'm not a father that I know of. Happy trails, adios. Yeah, I don't know. Do you think Ben's a father? No, he was neutered. But he didn't come up and be a guest. No guest of Ben. All right. Oh, there it is right now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, now he, now he comes up. Ben, are you a daddy? Ben, come on. Ben. Ben, you were, you were supposed to come out here like, you know, about 20 minutes ago uh, and uh, be a guest on the show, but now no, he's just like ignoring us. Yeah, back to us, you assholes. Hey, buddy, we don't need you, you know, you're just an extra. Yeah, just an extra. Yeah. Okay, we fine, can Ben. fire you like in two minutes. We don't pay him enough, though. Maybe that's a problem. <sighs> we got to. He's getting scale. We gotta, you know, hire the the extras. What's Kitty Scale on the uh, on Kitty Scale? Kitty Scale is, uh, it's I think be, it's got to be like uh, a few it tuna or something like that, or oil. Or yeah, he's got to get some fish. Oh, the fish. He likes yeah. his fish. Damn it, Ben! You're not getting paid this week. You're a shitty extra. <laughs>